Did you know that how you present your work to clients can literally make or break whether or not they say yes or no to signing off your projects? I know that's a really bold statement to make, but it's true. Clients are generally not as creative as us graphic designers, so they can't really envision what we see in our brain, which is why it is so important and crucial to your graphic design process to mock up your designs and make them look all nice and beautiful. Place them in situations so clients can actually see their brand in real life. So if you've ever wondered how graphic designers do this, stick around, this video is for you. Welcome back to Han Sila. I'm Han and I talk about all things to do with graphic design and running my own freelance graphic design business. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create beautiful mockups for my graphic design work and present those to my clients. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the mockup generator and create beautiful mockups using Kittle. Kittle is basically an all-in-one graphic design platform and it is web-based, which is really nice because you don't have to save all of the files onto your local machine. And so for me, that is definitely a win-win situation. Now, when it comes to mockups, there's not one way that you have to do it or use them or download them from. You can even create your own mockups if you wanted to or download a copyright free image and edit it. But this often takes quite a lot of time because you have to source the image, edit the image, make sure all the logos and branding stuff is removed from the image and then you have to place your image into it. Or you can download mockups and then save them onto your local machine. But I found that downloading high quality mockups and Photoshop files can to up my computer a lot, which is why I prefer to create mockups on a web-based platform like Kittle, who are the sponsors of today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I create three different types of mockups, one with a logo, two with a graphic element or a vector piece of art, and three with some sort of illustration or something that has more detail. I've only been using Kittle for a few months, but in those few months they have really helped me improve my workflow and do things at a quicker pace than I used to. As a professional graphic designer, my time is really precious, and so finding ways to improve my workflow is always a win-win in my books. So I'm going to shrink myself down into the corner and show you how I use Kittle to make beautiful mockups for my clients. So I've just opened Kittle and before I started recording I actually created this little vector graphic by using the AI vector generator. So this is not my own original design, this is something I just quickly put together in Kittle. So the first route I'm gonna show you is how to convert a vector graphic into a mockup and it's so easy. In the top right corner it says mockup, so I click it and boom, it puts it onto a mockup. So it's on a candle right now and I just use the toolbar on the left to search and add it to any sort of mockup that Kittle has. Here I'm putting it on a t-shirt and you can even change the color of the t-shirts as well. So you can also input a specific brand color if you want to. Now I'm just going to create another project and a new artboard and I'm just going to do this as a 210 by 297 which is a generic A4 landscape artboard. And on the left here, you will see they have all of their AI tools. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use their AI design generator, just because I don't really have time to create a whole new logo for this video to show you. So I'm just designing within Kittle and then just marking those up to show you how to use it. So let's say I want to make a logo and let's say for a clothing company, I think that will be pretty cool. I'm gonna say red and blue and Y2K. That can be the theme or the style of the logo. So the AI generator is just quickly generating and here we have some logo options. Now, I really like this Urban Styles logo, but I think I'm not too much of a fan of the background of it. So let's remove all the background and just take the logo out and then click mockup and we're gonna put it on a shirt because obviously it's a clothing company. And here we can put it on a tag. So whatever is on your artboard in the design section, it'll mock that up onto the actual mockup. So obviously I have just mocked up the logo, but you can do a whole design as well, like a flyer or a post. And now we got to try it on a hoodie because this just looks like it'll look so cool on a hoodie We can change the color to blue and that looks really cool You can either use a template from Kittle or you can input your own designs drag and drop them into Kittle So you don't have to design them in Kittle You can design externally drag and drop them in and then mark them up quick and easy And this literally only takes like 10 seconds Which is what I love because I used to spend way too much time trying to mock up stuff for my clients and for their presentations And this has just saved me so so much time and effort. So let's try one with a model and see if it can actually go towards the contours. You can see here it goes around the shadows and the highlights of the t-shirt and around the contours of their bodies which I really like. And we're going to change the color because I can imagine it being on like a nice periwinkle blue purpley color. So that looks really really cool. You can see you can change to any color and input the color code but for now let's just do that. Next one let's move on to screens. So you can have an Instagram mockup, you can have a laptop mockup, you can have something on a wall like a mural or a painting 
painting or a poster so it really is versatile and you have a lot of different mock-up variations that you can use directly so let's create a new project now i'm going to use the image generator so this is not going to be a design or a logo or something vector this is going to be an actual image so i'm trying to think of what i can do so maybe let's do like a raindrop popping in a vector style with shades of blue <laughs> i don't know i don't know what it's going to look like it's ai so that actually looks really cool but i'm going to remove the background because you can see it's kind of got like a bluish background towards it so we're going to use the ai background remover which works really well and then we're going to take the eraser and actually erase some of these drops because i think we can do away with some of those tiny ones and just clean it up a little bit so there we go and now we're going to drop it back into a mock-up and i'm just going to show you for example let's do a piece of stationery or you know another type of t-shirt so the possibilities really are endless you can do a lot of stuff this is obviously just one element of design so you could even mock up like the whole label of a water bottle of black packaging or you could do a pattern with these or you could do an invitation so now the next thing i want to show you is dragging and dropping your own design into kittle so this is a smiley face i just drew outside of kittle and i'm now dragging and dropping it in it's a png but i feel like it's lacking something so i'm actually going to change this and turn it into a pattern and then i'm going to show you what the pattern looks like mocked up so here i've just created a cute little repetitive smiley pattern and i think i'm going to make this cushion yellow because yellow and black always go really well together and another thing i can totally see this on a t-shirt so let's find this beautiful t-shirt but now let's make it something that's going to like match the image so i think the green is going to look really good and it does oh my gosh that's i would totally wear that t-shirt can you see what i mean this is why we mock up our designs as graphic designers because clients can see it in situ they can see the t-shirt they can see the candle they can see it on a laptop top and they can say oh my word this is what it's going to look like once it's printed i love it and it really helps sell your designs if you're just giving your client a flat logo jpeg and email that is like a huge no-no not only is that a security problem because they can just take the image but it doesn't help sell your design in any way to the client and help them envision the future of their brand so mock-ups are a vital part of the presentation process the next step i'm going to show you now is actually taking one of my hand-drawn illustrations i did this on my ipad so it works well on the screens obviously it works well mocked up as an instagram post now let's try an artwork i think that looks really cool on the wall and it works really well when you enlarge it and when you shrink it down i'm actually really loving these i mean these are even great not even for just client presentations but even for your own instagram if you want to find an interesting way to present your designs or your artwork on your own portfolio you can mock it up this shirt looks super cool i don't know i don't know if it's the colors or the vibe but i think this illustration on clothing looks fabulous oh my gosh like I would totally wear a shirt like this. I don't know if I'm biased because it is my own drawing, but anyway, <laughs> immediately when I saw it mocked up on clothing though, I thought it would look really good on a beer bottle because here in Europe, we have some gorgeous alcohol packaging. Anyway, back to mockups. So here's another hand-drawn illustration that I've done on my iPad. I really like how these are looking on clothing, especially this one. Oh my word, like that is so cool. And I think with this orange beanie, it just looks really awesome. So my aim for this video is to really just show how you can influence your clients in how you present your work so instead of just giving them something flat and boring bring it to life show them what it can be show them the potential of their brand or their business is in real life like i said clients aren't as creative as us so they often can't envision it we can say oh imagine this here imagine that there i can see it i can see it like you know it's so clear and clients are like what are you talking about? Which is why they come to us because they can't see what we see. So one last final illustration. I'm using this man with the trumpet. Again, this is my own illustration that I did on my iPad. I've always loved this illustration, but already it's just looking so gorgeous and beautiful when it's mocked up like this. I can just see it. It makes me happy. It makes me proud. I'm like, I want to post this. Like, my art sitting in a gallery or in someone's lounge or on a cushion or on a denim jacket like it looks really cool like looking at these makes me really excited to be like that's my artwork i am proud you know and what i'm feeling now looking at this this is how clients will feel when they see their brand that they've been working so hard towards actually come to life so that my friends is the power of mock-ups and it doesn't have to take a lot of time you don't have to spend hours doing it or sourcing them or looking for the perfect mock-up or downloading them and then keeping them on your machine and then you got to find it and then you lose your link and oh my goodness sometimes it can get a little crazy which is why since i've moved on to doing my mock-ups on kittle it's been so much of a smoother process process i can keep all of my projects there in my little workspace open them up drag and drop my image or my logo or my design or my vector artwork or anything and boom i have a beautiful mock-up 
Even though I am a professional graphic designer, I really enjoy finding new ways that will improve my workflow and evidently make my timing faster. So if you would like to try Kittle for free, you can sign up using the link in the description of this video. And if you would like to take it a step further and access all that Kittle has to offer, you can use my promo code HANSELAYT to get 25% off your first month or your first year on all pro and expert paid plans for new users. I hope this video has helped you see how important mocking up your work is when you are presenting your work to clients and if you agree drop a comment below and let me know how you create your mock-ups. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Keep creating, keep designing and if you enjoyed this video I think you're really going to enjoy this video as well. So check this out if you have some time to spare. <laughs> okay bye guys.